And this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And I just want to show you my latest Christmas goodies that I got. Now I've been looking for these ever since the day they were made. But anyway, as you can see to the left, we have a Flower Power iMac G3. And then to the right, we have the Dalmatian iMac. And like I said, I have been looking for these for a long time and I got a fantastic opportunity to get them, so I did. And also you'll see the uh, clamshell. That's also something that I never had before. And that's the Graphite Edition, Firewire Special Edition. And of course we have some nice, lovely stickers, which I think uh, will go nicely with my colorful Mac Plus. So anyway, yeah, now these all work. Um, I'm not gonna power them up right now because I am gonna do some mods on them. Uh, what I wanna do is on the flower power and a Dalmatian, I'm gonna max the memory out on them and then we're gonna put uh, SSD drives in them. And then uh, after that, then uh, we'll have a little speedier max and they both do have airport cards in them, although they don't work on my network. I am going to create an older Wi-Fi network so I could hook these up to it. But yeah, they're in pretty decent shape. Um, the cases are pretty nice. Um, I got these from a seller in Canada. This is a private sale. Um, I found out about him, somebody that's on YouTube, I Recycle Max. Uh, I'll put a link in his channel. But anyway, um, he gets a lot of computers in from this gentleman that uh, has some type of recycling company. And anyway, so he refurbishes them and then he gives them back to that guy. And uh, so I had mentioned uh, on that that I had sell, that he had a flower power and a Dalmatian on the shelf up there and I asked him, are those his? And he goes, yeah. So then a couple days later, I got a text from him saying that, hey, uh, uh, this gentleman that I do these repairs for, uh, he has a couple of them he'd be willing to uh, sell you. So I contacted him and about a month later, they're here at my house. And like I said, they're, uh, they're in pretty good shape. Uh, the flower power, um, the bezel actually looks pretty darn good on it, the inner bezel. Um, the case looks good. There's just a few little scuffs on it. You know, that's something that can be cleaned, but what I plan on doing is I'll take these covers off and I'll clean them because I can tell there's a lot of crud behind them here. Um, being very, very careful. Uh, the Dalmatian, um, it's in really good shape as well. Again, there's a few little scuffs on the case, but nothing too serious. But on this one here, the inner bezel did get cracked a little bit, which you know what, for these old Macs, that's pretty normal, unfortunately. Um, but there is a gentleman that is in a process of reproducing these inner bezels. And when these are available to purchase, I will put a new bezel in here. I will replace the bezel in here. And then my Ruby one over there, I will replace the bezel in that one as well. And my kitty cats are very fascinated by these things. But yeah, they do work. Um, a lot of this stuff is just a packing stuff. He, he uh, used foam. Uh, he made custom cases for these. So these were totally isolated. Uh, he put a foam halfway on each side, all cradled in there. So never shipped CRT down. But uh, yeah, they, uh, they survived pretty good. And the speakers work on them just fine. The optical drives work on them just fine. And my cats are just going crazy here. Uh, that's why I'm holding the tripod down so the <laughs> so there goes Fred in the closet there because there's all kinds of computer stuff in there too. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm very uh, very happy. Uh, this clamshell, like I said, I've never ever had one. Now the battery uh, isn't that great in it. Uh, you, know, you can let it charge, but uh, it really doesn't hold more of a charge for about five or ten minutes. But I'm going to rebuild the battery on that. I'm going to show you how to do that. Actually, I saw it on another uh, channel 
and it's pretty easy. But this has got just a little bit of yellowing on the keyboard. That's kind of normal for these, but the screen is absolutely perfect on this thing. Uh, I don't see any cracks on the inside. They're very notorious for cracking, especially where that Apple logo is, and it looks pretty good. Um, I did. It, it does power up. It does work. But I do want to put an SSD drive in this, and I know these are a real nightmare to tear apart and to put that in there, but the, the drive in this is failing on it. Uh, the bottom is a little scuffed up, but that's normal. This has kind of got like a rubberized texture on it. But like I said, we'll rebuild that battery. Uh, the optical drive works on it just fine. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I've always wanted it. And like I said, uh, got a lot of stickers on there, and uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll keep them for a while. I will clean the case a little bit to kind of make it look a little nicer there. And I also got a couple keyboards with it. I got the original Puck Mouse and Color keyboard with one of the Macs. And on the other Macs, I got the Apple Pro keyboard and Apple Pro Mouse. So I got that too. And also I got the Yo-Yo Charger for the PowerBook here. And a couple other things too. But anyway, yeah, it's, uh, I just want to share that to you guys. Like I said, I'm very excited. I'm glad I, I finally got these things. And like I said, we'll, or, when we get our uh, SSD drives in, of course, then we're going to max out the memory in each one of these as well. And Smirky's checking it out there. What do you think, Smirk? Do you approve of that? She's got to check everything out there. The original iMac power cords for these two as well. That's the color cord. But yeah, I've, like I said, I've always wanted the flower power. I mean, that's just really neat how they got that. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit here. There we go, a little closer there. But you can see how the, the colors are. It's amazing how they got that in that uh, plastic there. And like I said, he's got little scuffs on it, but you know what? Hey, in the scheme of things, that's not bad at all. This is a little dirty here, but that's easy to uh, take off and clean, and that'll just brighten right back up. But yeah, uh, like I said, this is pretty cool. Very, very happy. And the Dalmatian, same thing. Very cool. I like how they have the uh, blue apple logo up here. That's kind of neat. And I'll just kind of roll this one around here so you can see it as well. We got a blue apple logo down here on the bottom as well here. Down there. Same way on the flower power one here. It's okay, Fred. It's all right, Fred. And this one's got kind of a, a red apple logo, but you see it's kind of coming out. I'll have to push that back under. There's just, there's just press in there. And the, uh, the leaf is, and then the leaf's kind of hanging out here too. So we'll fix that. We we'll just, like I said, I'm gonna pop the cases off these things anyway, and uh, check them out. But yeah, uh, pretty cool, pretty neat. And like I said, they do work. You always get worried about them uh, getting broken in shipment, but he did a very good job of packing these things up. So I think it's an A plus on that. I generally don't ship IMAX myself, but he's a, he sells a lot of these and he says, you know, that the internal bezels, they don't fare so good, no matter how well you pack it, but these did pretty darn well. I know when I got that Ruby IMAX, that thing was totally destroyed on the bezel. So yeah, so anyway, I'm just kind of Groaning on and on and on here But anyway, I'm just very excited that I got my hands on these finally So anyway, maybe we can uh, get a sage next time iMac A spark. Yeah, there we go, but yeah man. Sorry that this looks a lot worse than it actually is We'll just kind of face this way. So you just see all the pretty on it there. There you go right there. So yeah, guys, so anyway, I know this is not a very good video, but I was just wanted to show you guys on these uh, Flower Power and Dalmatian IMAX and the limited edition graphite 
clamshell. The cats approve. That's all I'm concerned about. Snake's coming out of the closet there, and he's checking it out. I think Snake. Here comes Reba. She's checking it out too. Yes, Reeb. Yes, you're the one that's bumping in the tripod there, girl. And of course, Smirky is right there too. I got a whole bunch of them up here. Everybody's up here. All right, guys. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just very excited. I'm very speechless. I've always wanted these, and uh, I finally got them. All the, when they first came out in 2001, so 20 plus years to get one. You know, these are just, they're just really colorful. They really are, they're really unique. Probably one of the most colorful vintage Max ever produced, hands down. The only one that's rarer than these is the Sage, which to me, these are a lot more attractive looking than the Sage. They made fewer Sage models. This is a 500 megahertz machine, I forgot to tell you. Uh, they made these in 600 and 500 megahertz. However, this one is a 450 megahertz, but this one's a 500. So anyway, uh, that probably tells me that doesn't have the original logic board in it, but that's all right. It doesn't bother me. You can always find another 600 or 500 megahertz logic board and stick in it. So anyway, guys, all right. Hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can find me on Twitter and MeWe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.